For most of your instructional needs, courses are usually a better fit than the Schoology group tool. The group tool is missing the ability to create assignment drop boxes, quizzes, content pages, and does not have a gradebook. For every course you have in campus, you will have a course created for you in Schoology. And if students are added or removed from your courses in campus, these changes will be updated in Schoology, so you should not have to manage creating courses or adding members for all of your regular classes. However, there may be times when you want to create additional courses. Creating a new course is easy. Use the Courses tab in the purple navigation menu and choose Create. You will need to give your course a name, and the section defaults to Section 1 unless you change it. Choose the appropriate grade level or grade range and then assign a grading period. Choosing a grading period can be tedious, but you can search by school name or by a specific grading period you're looking for by using the Control plus F combination on your keyboard and then using the on-screen search. Watch out for expired grading periods. They are in lighter gray. The grading period is essentially the start and end dates for your course or when students in your class will be able to see and access the course in Schoology. You will always have access, but you want to pick a date range that matches the dates students will be visiting your class online. When done, choose Create. There is no limit to the number of courses you can create in Schoology, and once your course's grading periods expire, the course simply moves from your active menu to your past course archive. Once you have a class, you have two options for adding members to this class. One option is to give students the access code and allow them to self-join. Find the course's access code in the left column and distribute it to anyone who needs to join the course. Or you can use the Members tab to add members individually. Your search will default to people in your school, but you can use the drop-down menu to search other locations. As an instructor, you can always use this Members tab to add or remove individuals from your course. 